This video is all about tire size and what each number in that complicated code means. Once you finish this video, make sure to check out our other one. This is all about how to choose your tire and we'll also give you some recommendations as well. Once you've found your tire size in your owner's manual, side door jam, the interwebs, or the free fixed app, it'll look something like this. P stands for passenger. This includes minivans, SUVs, sedans, pretty much anything that the average driver uses. On the P metric, there are also a couple other ratings. LT means light truck, and ST means special trailer. If your measurement doesn't have a letter in front of it, don't worry. This just means you're on a European metric. And since it was made in Europe, it's still in that P designation that we talked about earlier. It's not a size, eh? The next three digits, in short, are your tire's width at its widest. This is measured in millimeters. Why? To confuse you. Next number is the ratio or the size of the tire profile. So in this scenario, the height of the sidewalls is 55% of your tire's width. Nobody likes math though, so here's a simple example. The higher the ratio, the higher or taller the sidewall, and the more it looks like a donut. The next letter signifies the construction of the tire. So in this case, R means a radial construction. Today, 98% of tires construction is radial. This is due to the better grip, gas mileage, and durability. In radial tires, the plies are laid perpendicular to the direction of travel. And plies are a combination of polyester, fabric, and steel coated in rubber. The rubber used for this ply stock is so compounded that it possesses high anti-friction properties. Now there are some tires that have a D rating. This stands for a diagonal ply or a bias ply, also called the conventional X or cross ply. This, as the name states, means that the plies have a crisscross construction. <laughs> And this build is mostly seen in motorcycles or trailers. Now the B type is pretty much the same thing as the D, except they have a belt that goes underneath the tread area. Now the F type stands for run flat. Simply put, it's just a tire that can run flat after it's been punctured for just a short duration. To the next number. The next number is the wheel diameter in inches, which means that in the same code, we're using the metric system and the US standard system, because why not? This is the number that all those cool high school guys were concerned with when driving around those 10 foot tall Jeeps. Good for you, cool high school guy. If there weren't enough numbers, in 1991, we decided more means more. So now every tire has a service description rating. This helps to identify your load index and your speed rating as well. Now this final letter is important. As you can see by another one of our jazzy graphs, if you're looking to buy a Y-level tire, you probably have a cool car and lots of cool friends. Good for you. Otherwise, you'll be sitting somewhere in the middle of this graph. Now, as speed ratings go up, you tend to get a sturdier build and a more durable tire. But don't just buy the fastest tire, because a higher rating could also mean higher cost. And if you spend most of your life going under 100 miles per hour, then you're probably fine getting an S to H rated tire. I'm sure in the future there will be more numbers, but for now, make sure to go watch our How to Choose Your Tire video, armed with your valuable new knowledge. Remember to like and subscribe, and check out the free fix app. It has a quick way to find out your tire size. Cheers, and happy driving, everyone.